Hi, welcome back to my channel, Candle Fluffy Performs Reviews, and today I'm sharing with you all the candles that I was able to finish in the month of March 2023. As you can see here, I have eight three-wick Bath & Body Works, I have a four-ounce Bath & Body Works, and then I have a Yankee, I think they're seven and a half ounces. So I'm going to get started with the Yankee, and I have to apologize I know I told y'all I had some haul videos I was going to do, and I'm probably not going to do them anymore. You know, I got a little ill, and I'm trying to get over it, so if I don't seem up to par, that's just why. But uh, I'd be more than happy to tell you what I got, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, let's do our Rainbow Shake. Now, this is, like I said, it's at seven and a half ounces. And look at the inside. This was a soot monster. I trimmed my wick and I trimmed my wick. That did not help. As far as the scent notes, I really don't know what they are because, you know, as you know, they're not here on the bottom. On the bottom, it tells me that I got this probably in 2021. And it should have burned for 40 to 50 hours. Uh, I don't recall if it did that or not. The scent throw was probably just medium, five and a half. It's a, uh, I don't know, just kind of like a fruity smell in a way. This was not my favorite. And this did come with these two stickers uh, several years ago when I bought this. So, I would not get Rainbow Shake again. And that's about all I have to say about that candle. Now, I have a Slatkin & Co. Bath & Body Works First Bloom Candle. And the sit notes on this were Dewy Pear, Peony Petals, and Water Lotus with Sweet Apple Blossom. This, my friends, is from 2012. And it would have been 1950 if you paid full price, which I don't encourage that. Here is the inside. As you can tell, this is relatively clean burn. And after all this time, the strength and throw was still probably like seven, six and a half. You get just that apple and the floral notes. This is a really nice candle. I wish they would come back out with this. I still think I have maybe two in my collection. You know, Flower Shop was popular during these, this time. Uh, the Lilac Candle, Lilac Blossom. None of those candles are around. We have fresh cut lilacs, but that's a little bit different. So then I also finished another old one. This was the White Barn Fresh Bamboo. And the notes on this one are Sweet Bamboo, Lush Jasmine, and Wild Grasses Grounded with Warm Oak. This is a 2014 pour. This would have been $22.50. And the strength and throw on this is probably about seven, seven and a half. You do get the grassy note with the floral. I always try to keep these on hand. Here's what it looks like inside. I don't think it gave me any problems. Look how clean these are compared to some of these others. And they do have that one as an online exclusive right now. Then we have a little baby one. This is the Beautiful Day. It would have been $10. And the notes on this are Sun-Kissed Apple, Wild Daisy, and Fresh Pink Peonies. Uh, this is 2014 as well. And this medium candle did what it needed to do. Uh, we got a little bit of soot on the sides, um, burned all the way down, and strength and throw was probably about a six and a half. You know, this does kind of smell like the body care in this scent. And I don't have much to say about this one. I would definitely get it again. I have it in the three wick. So I like to pick these up in this scent since they don't have the three wick really anymore. If I ever see them now, like at a uh, semi annual. Oh, I got these out of order. This one's next, chronologically. 
So this is the uh, Comfort Soft Cashmere Blanket. This is a 2017 Fluffy Cotton Sheer Musk and Lavender Essential Oils. And now we're back up to the price of $24.50. As you can tell, this one gave me a little bit of a problem. That that side over there did not want to melt like these two toward the end. And I have a little bit of soot and uh, strength and throw though is okay. Maybe a seven. This was like a soft scent, but it's really nice. That's why I call it blanket, cashmere. If I'm remembering correctly, this was one of the first candle day Kind of like exclusives so i think i only grabbed one of these and i might have one more that i got maybe off of ebay like some years ago for cheap i would get this again this is a nice clean springy scent now this one you might recognize by the wrapper this is blue sky breeze and it is morning spring air, fresh violet petals, crisp gala apples, and English ivy. It would have been $26.50. And this is a 2022. And this candle is coming back out if you really enjoyed this candle. I think this is the only one I have, even though in a way I might have one more of these. I'm not positive. You know, this candle... As you can see here, you know, I've got a little bit of soot action going on. I don't think it gave me much problem. And strength and throw on it was probably like a seven and a half. This candle reminds me of a job I had where people would use the spray in the bathroom, either a Glade spray or Febreze spray after they used the bathroom, because we only had one bathroom for all of us that were working. And they would just spray that bathroom down. And this just kind of has a scent memory with it after people go number two and from years ago with that job. So that makes it where I can't like love this scent like some people do. But I would probably get it again, because just because it was a good strength and throw, but it just, I don't know, that scent memory kind of throws me off. Now here is one of my good friends, Berry Waffle Cone, and this is last year's version too. And Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle, waffle Cone, and Creamy Vanilla. It has a lovely lid, but it gave me problems. <clears throat> Uh, one of the problems you might can see over here in this wick on the right is way too close to the edge because it wanted to play a little drifting game. And I've got a little bit of where they got schmitz on the side. And this one was not as strong as Berry Waffle Cone used to be. Um, let's put this one maybe six and a half, seven. I had a problem with this one. But I love this scent. So I will always buy this. This is one of my favorite scents. And I like the packaging. And I might even got this one 75% uh, off somehow. So that was great. Now this one gave me a lot of problems. And I should have taken this one back. Pumpkin apple. Red delicious apple. Fall pumpkin and fresh ground cinnamon and clove buds from last year with the nice pumpkin lid and it's textured but this was a problem child i had a cotton ball this candle from the very beginning and so i know i lost a lot of wax i didn't get a scent throw i should have taken it back but around this time is when they did the changing of the exchange policy and I didn't really want to mess with all that. But this just didn't perform right. And I hadn't had this candle in years. So when I got this one and it didn't work out for me, 
I thought, well, maybe, you know, I can combo and fix it up. You know, it'll act up. You know, you know it'll, it'll quit acting up, but it didn't. So, I couldn't, you know, sometimes I could smell it. Other times I couldn't because the flames were just so tiny. So, I had to rate it. I'm only going to give it like a four and a half just because of the varying problems it gave me for the strength and throw. And I'm wondering, if anybody else, did y'all buy this candle? Did this give you problems like this one gave me? Because... I had nothing but problems. And it makes me not want to buy a pumpkin apple for quite some time. So then I only have two more left. Whoops. Ugh. So we have a good one here. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. And this did what it needed to do. As you can tell, I got a little bit of soot action on the sides. Strength and Throw is probably the 8. And this just is one of my favorite scents. I've been buying this for over 10 years. I'm going to continue to buy this. I love this scent. I do think this white uh, version white wax is performing better. I've got a brown one going right now from I think the same year. And this one I think is stronger. So if you had a choice, get the one with the white wax. And I think it might have a higher start price too. Let me see. $26.50. I'm curious. But this one's always just a favorite. And then the last one we have here is from the Candle Day Mashups. Um, Ocean Driftwood and White Gardenia. Here's the cool lid. The color was pretty. Yeah, I don't think it gave me any problems. As far as needing to cotton ball it or anything. Strength and throat. We'll probably put this one out of seven too. Um, this one, you know, sometimes I could smell the ocean driftboard aspect. And then other times I could smell white gardenia aspect. So I don't think these were like more mashed up in a way. As like some of the, like the Paris Cafe and cinnamon vanilla one. That's kind of like a different scent. But this was just some day I smell this. Some day I smell this. So as you know, I bought two of these when it first came out. Um, I'll probably burn my other one and be fine without needing to just, you know, go buy some more of these if they had it available. So, you know, strength and throw. I'm not sure I said. Um, let's go with seven. And that is all I finished in, uh, in August. <laughs> in March. Like I told you, I'm getting over being sick, so uh, I was going to do some hauls and everything. I'm probably not going to still do those hauls. I need to put out some of the stuff I bought, you know, but no one probably cares now what I got at the $12.95 sale or what I got on Fragrance Day sale or any of these other little sales. I have shop, but <laughs> no one probably cares. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you all like my video. And if you've burned in these candles, I'd be really interested to know if you agree with my thoughts. All right, well, y'all have a good day, and I will see you back here for sure um, with the April's empties and maybe some other videos in between now and then. All right, have a good one.